<sighs> Hi. Oh, you guys are here already. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Make sure um, right at the beginning, as always, that you say a uh, click for live chat instead of top chat. Hi, Kate. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Mm. Hi, Bella. Sorry I was a little bit late. I was bustling around trying to get all my polishes in order as usual. Hi, Tammy and Laura, Jennifer. Hi, Linda. Linda, I did get your email this morning. I'll email you back in just a little bit. Hey, everyone. Just got, just got weird my order shipped. <laughs> I did. I just shipped your order a little bit ago. Hi, everybody. Oh, we just got word. <laughs> okay. Yay, you had time to use the bathroom. I'm a little under the weather this morning, as you guys can hear. Actually, it's been all week, but I'm hoping... Hi, Carolina. I'm hoping that I'm coming out of the woods instead of... Well, it can't be going into the woods because it's been like a week. Oh, yay, Kitty, it's your first time. Welcome. Yep, I'm sniffy. <laughs> That's all right. I feel like everybody's got it going on here. Let me just get my phone in order to get my random number generator pulled up. Okay. My family's here today. They didn't go um out. My mailman leave it. Um No, it's not going to I mean it depends, Cheryl, how long it's out there. If it's just a couple days it should be okay, but when you bring it into the house, let it have a while before you open it to um, like get adjusted to the temperature of your house before you open it because I don't want anything to crack on you or that could possibly mess up the formula. Thanks, Carmen. Oh, thanks, Laura. Um, yeah, it was Laura that said that. I might end up having to put my glasses on. My dad took that picture of us, and look, Joy's not there. We're having our family pictures taken in a, in a little while. But um, thank you. I like that photo, too. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, my family's still here, so you might hear a little bit of noise. And I have <laughs> the laundry running, so sorry. Me Meno Money. Amy, did I even come close? Meno Money. Oh, you're in the hospital, Tammy. I'm glad I could give you something to maybe take your mind off of worrying for just a second. I didn't say it right, Amy. Men nom mon e. I probably still said it wrong. Oh, man. If you guys um, saw that I announced the winner on my Instagram for the collection the other day. I've had a few questions about um, if I announced the winner, but it does say right in the top of it. So you can see. You guys ready to do some more giveaways? Sorry, I'm getting notifications as we speak. Well, let's have an early bird giveaway. Let's have a giveaway for those of you here in the first 10 minutes. So we have today, um, I'm just checking your comments. 
I did, Carolina. We're going to share that today. Um, we have today painted phalanges. We have a random grab bag. We have Chloris Carol, Glam Polish, and Night Owl Lacquer, and Moonshine Manny. So let me know what you guys want to do very first. We're going to do an early bird. Watching and swatching. Nice. <laughs> I've got my tablet. I think I've got. Okay, let's get it set up. Let me explain the rules just in case, because I know some of you said it was your first time. Okay, it looks like we're doing Moonshine Manny first. Um, so if this is your first time here, make sure you're um, up at the top. It says live chat and not top chat. So something we've been having a little bit of trouble with the last couple times is oftentimes people will pick the same number. So when you go to enter each drawing, you're going to be entering a number between 1 and 100 in the comment section over there. And basically, it's the first person to comment that number is going to be the winner. Now, not all of our feeds are the same, so we get different ordering of comments because you were all over the world, right? So it is the majority rules in this scenario. So lots of times your comment will be the top comment or will show up faster than other people's, right? Because you're literally just typing it into your computer and it just goes right up in your view. But not everybody will be seeing that at the same time. So as long as you're entering and knowing that it's gonna be a majority rule scenario and if you happen to pick a number that somebody else picked, and the majority said that their number showed up before yours, just be understanding that that's how we're going to continue with this. I will give you guys about three or four minutes to enter numbers, and then I will type the word stop, and then that's how you know that you will stop. So I'll type go and say go, and then I will type stop and say stop, and then um, that'll be it. And then basically, if you win, you're going to send me an email to pmoonnails at gmail.com, and I will find out where I can send your prize. Um, so... Generally, we're all very understanding and friendly around here. Um, so just if it's your first time, I'm sure I'm sure everybody here has the best intentions and everything. But let's I'll just keep it nice. And um, sometimes we do have some crazy pants showing up about the last fourth of this video. And you guys will see that in the comments section as well. You wanted to say live chat, Kim. Yvette, I do see your comments. Hey, Tim. Okay. All right. So everybody understands the rules. It's going to be a number between one and 10. <laughs> okay. So for Moonshine Manny, I'm going to be giving away my latest collection today, all six pieces. So here's what the new collection looks like. It's a Pride and Prejudice collection. And all of the names were picked by my brother, actually, my brother Oliver, whose favorite book and, um, well, not favorite movie, but his favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. And so um, I created all the colors and the formulas and stuff based upon what he thought would fit. And um, then he was like, okay, yes, I want that to be named that. And I was glad that he picked all things that I was very familiar with in the book as well. So if for some reason I happen to pick a winner who has already or ordered these, we will work out a different price for you. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, <laughs> yes, Kathy, still enter. If you win, then we'll get you a different prize, okay? You guys, I didn't say go yet. Did somebody type go? <laughs> okay, I'm going to be typing go right now. And now start over, okay? Put your comment in after I say go. Oh, I said between 1 and 10. I'm so sorry. Between 1 and 100. Yes, good job. Those of you who have been here with me every week, um, you know, and you can help me if I misspeak. So we'll give you guys all a chance to get your numbers in here. How's everybody's Saturday going? We're, as soon as I'm done here, we're going to be leaving to go to Barnes & Noble, which is Lincoln's favorite place to go. He just loves that place. 
If you please only enter one number. We're going for food first. Okay, we're going for food first. Actually, I have it. I've had my vitamins this morning and some water, but I need to eat too. That's probably why I'm getting a little bit of a headache. But I've been busy this morning. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Isn't this funny? I attempted to um, curl my hair with a straight iron that I bought over Christmas. And um, that's as much as I got out of it because I don't know what I'm doing. I need to watch some YouTube tutorials. So I have one <laughs> little wave on one side of my head. Okay, I'm going to put stop. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Okay, the number is 77. Thanks, Kim. Is my what my water's right over there? It's just the ends of my spark. I'll drink this. So the number is 77. So you guys look through the numbers and see who has 77. And then you need to be the closest to without going over. Okay, so it seems like we already have a pretty good consensus here. Desiree. I'm writing you down right now, okay? So this is how it works. Laura says a different name. Let me make sure I've got your name spelled just right. Okay, so all you're gonna do is email me when we're all done, okay? Congrats. <laughs> Can you protest this win? <laughs> What's up, Cheryl? Cheryl, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I misspoke. Every time it's between one and a hundred, and then I tried to correct that while while you guys were putting your numbers in. I I said that, and then also Tim typed it. I'm sorry for misspeaking. All right. So let's go ahead and move along. Thanks, Kaylee. I'm sorry, you guys, for misspeaking. Yeah, there are way too many people here for one to ten. Okay, so what should we do next, you guys? Do you remember the brands I mentioned? <coughs> sorry, I have a little bit of a cough. If it gets to be a problem, I'll grab a cough drop. Grab bag. Okay, grab bag went first, and then we'll do Calorsa Carol next. Okay, so for grab bag, grab bag means I just grab from a bunch of different indies. I have like two shelves where I have a bunch of indies, and I just kind of grab stuff off of it. Actually, for the most part, with all of these, I'm just kind of snagging stuff quickly because I'm always just kind of rushing to get ready. Um, what is that noise? Am I making too much noise? Sorry. I'm um, shaking up polishes right now because a few of these have been on my shelf. Does it sound like an E? <laughs> my son Lincoln is here. Usually he's not here. You guys um, and my son sound. That's his happy sound. My son has autism. I have four children, if you're new to my channel. And one of Lincoln's um, self-stimulating behaviors that he does that helps him regulate everything that's going on him is he makes a certain frequency of sound. That's okay. If you're not used to it, it can be possibly alarming. I'll have to look, look that up, Miranda. Rhett syndrome. I've heard of that before. 
<laughs> Thanks, Tim. Okay, I think these are shook up enough. So today we have cupcake polish, different dimensions, uh, bliss polish, Lindy designs, and mace polish. And I love all of these, you guys. Um, that's why I held on to them after I swatched them. And so these are all awesome, just so you know. Mm, okay. First up, we have this Lindy Designs. This is Simply Crabulous from the April 2018 Polish Pickup. This is gorgeous purple with all these multi-chrome flakies. Mace Polish. This is a gorgeous, another purple. It's called Starlight Star Bright. And this was from January 2018. And it again has lots of flakies, a different kind of purple. Hi, Shelly, it's okay. Oh, Kim, on my nails, this is the up and coming Moonshine Manny coming in March, I think. February is gonna be Primetime Lovers Part Two. So I just made something the other day that I think we'll save for March. And then Cupcake Polish, go parasailing with me. This is a gorgeous cherry holographic. And then, did we do, did I lose track of what I'm talking about? Did we do Bliss Polish already? <laughs> My brain's a little foggy, guys. Please bear with me. Falling leaves. This is so pretty. So, it's different holographic, obviously. It's a scattered one, but it's this gorgeous green. So pretty. And then lastly, we have different dimensions. And this is Challenger, and it's a blackened base, and it has a multi-chrome pigment in it, as you can see, and lots of um, hollow micro shreds, I think. So that's really, really pretty. Okay, so um, for all the rest of the giveaways today, I'm going to be showing you five polishes, and you pick two that you like, okay? And when you email me, you're going to tell me, my hair is bothering me today, guys, sorry. When you email me, you're going to tell me which two you want out of the five. Okay, ready, go. I almost just typed stop. I'm sorry, I told you I'm a little foggy today. Oh man. So you guys, I have some fun news for you. So these are not all from Polish Pickup. Three of them, no, only two of them. Go Parasailing I think was a hollow hookup. I think these might be all hard to find polishes by now. Um, but I got asked to be the blogger of the month for March's Polish Pickup. Since I don't blog anymore, I'm going to be the vlogger of the month. So you guys are going to see almost every single polish on my channel for March Polish Pickup. So, um, that'll be really fun. It's going to be a lot, but I think it'll be really good. It'll give you guys a really good look at all of them. So... Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you guys probably know by now, it got announced what the winning theme was for March. It's album covers. So, we're going to have all these different beautiful polish based on album covers. I actually haven't even picked my inspiration yet because it's been a really long time since I um, got out any of my CDs or even thought about CDs. So... You thought I was going to say I was pregnant. Tim's such a dork. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, but you're a dork. Okay, so let's put grab bag down here, and I'm going to put stop. Okay. The number is 41. 41. Linda, for Christmas, I went to this sock gift exchange. It was a pirate gift exchange. So we all went and got cute socks, wrapped them up, and then we all, you know, like a pirate gift exchange. And the ones that I got are called Hot and Cheesy Like Pizza. And there's pizza slices all over it, and it's really cute. <laughs> Movie themes, that would have been really cool. That would have been fun. Hmm. Does anybody see? Our winner, our number was 41. Sorry, I kept talking, so maybe you guys. It needs to go under 
either the same number or just under. So the closest number without going over. And the number was 41, so it needs to be 41 or under. Somebody did pick the No Doubt album. Oh, that's a spoiler. But you guys will probably be seeing, well, no, not yet. <laughs> I don't think you'll be seeing them yet. No, 41. All right, you guys, once you give me about 10 or 12 people that tell me who the winner is, and then we'll get the consensus here. You guys are all telling me different people. So I see Sid a lot, but I also see TRMM. Sorry, this face is because I was making sure I was reading the comment right, <laughs> not because I was upset. Okay, so majority seems to be saying that it's Sid. So I'm going to write that down. I'm trying to look at your, your picture, Sid. Is that a turtle? Sid with the turtle is the winner. Okay. Okay, so after we're done here, you'll give me an email, okay? And pick two of those. All right, so I heard you guys say Calorsa Carol as well when you did grab bag. I want to show you Calorsa Carol's um, polish pickup for next, for this coming up next month. So next month is um, Dynamic Duos, and so the makers all had a chance to either team up and make a polish with another maker in the group or to make two polishes and sell one in Polish Pickup and one in their website. And I think there was one other way to do it. Um, so Calorsa Carol, I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different pairings today. Calorsa Carol has taken on, can you guys guess from the colors here? Actually, I feel like this one's a dead giveaway. She got it so spot on here. This is so amazing. So she is doing Buzz and Woody. Look at that. It's so awesome. Yep. Caitlin got it. So I'm not sure. Um, Carolina, maybe you can tell us right here which one is going on Polish Pickup website and which one's going on your website. Aren't these so adorable? So um, the Woody Polish definitely has some green to red Aurora Shimmer going throughout there. Um, did you say Carolina? I see your heart. Tell us which one's going to be on the Polish Pickup website and then which one will be at your website. The Woody Polish also has stars in it. It's so cute and it has different rainbow glitters in there. And then this polish is, um, I think it's a pink to blue Aurora Shimmer. And then of course it has this neon greens and the purples. Let me show you again up close. It's so adorable. Buzz is going on PPU. So this one you have to get at the Polish Pickup Weekend. And then Woody will be on her website. Isn't that so beautiful? And it's so sparkly. And you guys know Carolina's curlies are so amazing. So this one's called the Spaceman. And then this one's called the Cowboy. Isn't that so cute? I feel like these are collector's items for Carolina's polishes alone, but also for Pixar fans. These are Crellies, yeah. This one, it is, it's kind of a mustard, would you say, Carolina? I feel like it's it's definitely, um, it's a very warm, uh, like sunny mustard. So anyway, I wanna share with you her Polish Pickup Duo. That's going to be, I'm gonna have to pull out my calendar because I can't even remember off the top of my head. Um, February, the first Friday of the month is the first. So it's going to be the first through the fourth is February Polish Pickup. It's always the first Friday of the month. Yes, warm mustard yellow. So look for those then, and you don't want to miss, you don't want, this next month is going to be super, super fun. Um, so let me show you which, where is Clarissa Carol? Which polish is? I just kind of grabbed out of my bin. Okay. So first up, we have Blackberry Sangria, 
And this polish is this gorgeous deep blackberry jelly shade. And look at those big dot glitters. And then it has greens and it has silver and probably some raspberry colored glitters in there. Super pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. And then this one came from the Halloween collection, The Mummy's Wraps. This is a really beautiful um, white crelly. It's like a, a white to grayish crelly. And it has all of those uh, multi-chrome flakies in there. And it also has an aurora shimmer that is pink. It's like fuchsia to maybe green. So pretty. And then I have Sayuri. Oh, I can't believe I grabbed this out. Um, this is a thermal that goes red to clear and is full of um, iridescent flakies, as you can see. I believe it has an aurora shimmer in there and some hollow in there. So there's that one. And then next up I have um, one that's in one of the OG bottles. This is Summer Glacier. And this is this gorgeous teal, aqua teal, and it has matching glitters. I can feel my voice going, you guys. So I'm going to probably start being a little bit more quiet. So, so pretty. And then lastly, we have this purple linear hollow called Curious. And I had sun out a little while ago. It's not out right now. Is there a roar shimmer in here? I feel like there's something else smiling at me out from this polish. Okay, so if you are my Color Stick Girl winner today, you will pick one, or excuse me, you will pick two of these five polishes, okay? Christina's given us a Sayori testimonial. Okay, go. Type a number between one and a hundred. And while you're typing, I'm going to read your comments because I was too busy gushing about these Color Stick Girls. <laughs> Everybody get your number in. Kitty, you're so sweet. All right, you guys. We have actually three more to go after this. <laughs> We're almost at the halfway point, so we got to keep pushing on. As you guys, I didn't tell you yet. Nope, because it just I just started last weekend. Was it the weekend before? I'm back to my really clean eating again. <laughs> I go through cycles where I'm... It's not too hard for me, actually, to eat really clean. Because once you get going, you have to get past the hurdle. But then your body just feels so good that it motivates you to keep going. But then I'm like, mm, I want to do some fun stuff. And so then I don't eat clean for a little while. But my body was like, come on, girl. So I'm back to back on my good habits again. On my lips today, I'm wearing this um, Zoya Hot Lips. This one's a little bit lustry. I love the scent of these things. Oh, my goodness. And they say Hot Lips, and I think they're supposed to be like, Kind of like the Buxom lip glasses where they kind of tingle a little bit. But I don't really feel the tingling. It's not like Buxom. I remember the first time I let Honor try one of those. She was like, this kind of hurts, Mom. I'm like, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not going to turn out to be your favorite. I like the Buxom ones. But anyway, this is um the, sh the shade or the color Lux. As you can see, it just barely gives me anything. But it's a little sticky. But the scent is just so good. Even when I'm sick, I can smell how good it smells. Yeah, Carmen, the holidays were going to be really hard for me to eat clean. Hey, congrats, Christina. Okay, I'm going to put stop. Okay. So, the number... The number of the counting shall be three. Not one. Just kidding. That's not the number. Okay. The number is 69. So, um, here, I'll even show you. It's like glaring at me. So I had to cover up the top part because it's like blowing it, the color out. Okay. So look through and see who picked 69. If 
anybody picked it and or um, what do they smell like? They're a very fruity smell. That's probably why I like it so much. And I'm not sure what, what the smell is, <laughs> which fruit. It could be just like straight up strawberries and cream or something. And it has 68. Okay, let's get enough people confirming that's the first 68 you see. Me too, Christina. I would eat sugar all day long. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. Don't eat sugar. It's horrible. Okay, so that is a pretty fair consensus there. So, Anna. <coughs> sorry. Um, let me get... There you are. Anna, where are you from? Hey, congrats to Anna. Oh, you're Polish? How lovely. Every time I, I write, well, actually not any time anymore, but Tim used to tease me that I was writing the word Polish instead of Polish. Anna from South Carolina. Okay, so email me, girlfriend. <laughs> I will have to after I finish here. Okay. Okay, so what shall we do next? We have Night Owl Lacquer, Painted Phalanges, and um, Glam Polish. Yeah, girl, you can enter. Enter from anywhere. Night Owl Lacquer is the first one I saw. Kate, Bren beat you. Kate's been, like, typing in really fast, but... <laughs> okay, so Night Owl Lacquer today... The first one I'm going to show you guys is really, really cool. I've never seen a thermal that goes red to green. This thermal is really cool. Oh, and I want to show you her polish pickup, so I'm going to show you right after I show you these five. This is called I'm Feeling dot, dot, dot. This was the limited edition thermal for Black Friday, so you can't get this anymore. And it has all these awesome flakies in there. Red and green and platinum. Or maybe it's just green. No, it's probably red, too. But it's in the red state, so I can't see. Um, next up, we have Sparkle More. And this is a very light icy blue with all of this um, platinum flakies. And there's some blue and pink sparkle in there. Then next, we have Every Leaf Speaks Bliss to Me. And this is a white base crelly, but it's kind of beige. And, um, like just a little tiny bit. And then it has these gorgeous, um, rustic colored multi-chrome flakies in there. So that's number three. Number four is Shrieking. This is a white curly that she did for Halloween, but I feel like you could wear this lots of different times. And it has, um, black shreds in there and hollow, is it bars or shreds in there? So pretty. And then lastly, we have a gorgeous cream. Night Owl Lacquer's creams are so yummy. The smell of rain. And this is like a, like a stone shade. It's kind of a slightly brownie stone shade, a taupey stone. So here are the five colors that you have a chance to win. And if you are my winner and you don't know what you want, you can, of course, go back and watch this. It goes up on my channel as soon as I'm done filming. Okay. Here's your go. I have a number between, yes, B. Jordan. That is from her Pluvio file collection. So good. Type a number between 1 and 100. Hmm. I really need to blow my nose, but I don't want to blow my nose on here because that's kind of gross. So I'm just going to wait. It can wait. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Louise. We are on the second. No, we're on the third to last giveaway. We were going to hurry up, but we didn't really hurry up. Oh, Anna, you got the Grinch limited edition one? <laughs> you hate a stuffy nose. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, hold on. One sec. Okay, Amy convinced me. Oh, okay. Bye, Tina. Thanks for saying hi. <laughs> yeah, my ears are like, huh? Okay, here we go. The number this time is 70. <laughs> the random number generator is just keeping it close. Keeping it close there. The number is 70. Seventy-eight. That was close. We're looking for seventy or maybe sixty-nine again. <laughs> what do you guys see? Yolanda E, you hit exactly on seventy, huh? Congrats, Yolanda. Ooh, Yolanda, I like your user image. Where are you from, Yolanda? <laughs> Too many colors. That's a funny username. I like it. You're from Florida? Awesome. All right, congrats. Okay, so we are moving along. I heard you guys say glam polish, so we're gonna do glam polish, and then we will finish up with painted phalanges. So some of these needed a little shaking too. We're gonna multi multitask shake on both hands. That's okay, Louise, we're glad you're here. Oh, look at all the cute emojis. Yay, Angie's here. Just going to get a little bit more going on here. All right, we even have something here from the Glam Polish Star Wars collection. This one's from the, um, what's that movie with Ryan, not Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. They were in a couple movies together, actually. Um, the Broadway, like I can't, I can't even think of it right now because my brain. But you guys know which movie I'm talking about? <laughs> La La Land. Thank you. Let's start with that one. Okay, so this one is this really cool rainbow glitter. It's are they all circles? Nope, they're hexes. It's a rainbow glitter. I think it's a topper. Mm, so pretty. This is called Chasing All the Lights That Shine. Sorry. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Is this a topper? Yep. By the way, you guys, if you don't know, everything I give away, I've only really swatched once for my video. If I've swatched something many, many times, I'm not planning on giving it away at any point. So it doesn't make it into these giveaways. So you're getting basically brand new bottles. The Tide is High is a beautiful purple with flakies, like green, blue, purple flakies, lots of micro hollow in there. Soups, soups, prits. That's not a thing, right? Um, <laughs> did I tell you guys I finished the Great British Baking Show? I'm so sad. I finished the very last episode. 
but I started watching the beginnings. The Shimmer Awakens. This is the one from the Star Wars um, one. It's a linear hollow, but it also has all this beautiful pink shimmer. After the Blondie. Is that a Blondie song? Whoops, I missed I missed that reference. Oh, I know that song. I don't know if it's named after that. It was all um, shell, like mermaid and shell stuff. This is how rude this polish is cool. It's like a, a pastel greenish color, but tons of pink shimmer. And it's also hollow, of course, because pretty much every glam polish is hollow. The tide is high. That one. And I'm moving on. You've got your wand permit is this really gorgeous red with tons of flakies and hollow. Oh yeah, Ebony, you, you need to watch it. <laughs> it's not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone that, sorry, you're going to look at my Cinderella hand that's, yeah, not even all shaped, right? Oh yeah, that's really pretty, huh? Okay. Oh, I was saying not everybody that, I have recommended that show too, likes it. So anyway, look at these beautiful colors. Okay, let's pick a winner. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't pick a winner yet until I say go. Emily, put your number in again because I just barely said go. Sorry. All right, guys. Oh, hi. Hi, Jennifer. All right, about 30 more seconds. Get your number in. Tim and I started watching this other show called The Rookie, and I really like it. It's a cop procedural, no, well, kind of procedural. It's kind of a comedy because it has the um, Nathan Fillion, the guy from Castle, and Serenity in it. And new show. Oh, I haven't tried that yet, Shelly. I'll have to look at that. I can't ever get like quite hooked to the Gordon Ramsay shows. I don't know why. But I know, Tim, we talked about that at the beginning. But yeah, if you haven't tried the rookie yet, it's good. Um, for for Valentine's Day, Cheryl, we're gonna be doing the Primetime Lovers Part 2 collection. That collection, um, the part one came out the very first year I was in polish making business, so in 2017. And last year we skipped doing part two. I don't know why. I'm just a silly pants. So this year we have part two. And so that is going to be six polishes. And they're all couplings of two, like, lovers from a primetime television show. Top Chef has a new series out right now, huh? Yeah, I did. I did Valentine's Day. My vlogs. Thanks, Willow. I haven't done a vlog in a really long time, I feel like. <laughs> Except the swatch dress before last was kind of like a vlog. No, you're not. I am just talking while you guys are entering numbers. Gary, or Jerry, get your number in really quick. We did Ross and Rachel last time. So, I'll be telling you guys who they are very soon. Yes, Top Chef Kentucky is what's on right now. Did you get your number in, Jerry? There you go. Oh, we got a few more people. Okay. Yeah, my business email, Jennifer, is in the description bar of all of my videos, okay? All right, so that was your stop.
The number we're looking for is 55. 55. Oh, that's cool, Jessica. It's been a while since I've used that polish. Oh, you guys are fast. 55. She would she hit it right on the nose, huh? Melissa, are you still here? Do you see that you're the winner? Yay! Where are you from, Melissa? Let us know. Jackie, you had 55 too. So we go off of the majority, and usually the number that you type will show up right away because you type it, and it's like instantaneously, you know, because it doesn't have to go across the internet. So we go off the majority of who people see went first. Oh, Melissa, you're in California. All right, we're neighbors. Okay, so last up. Okay, so Melissa, pick your two and then email me, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's move on. So last up, we're going to do painted phalanges. And if you guys aren't acquainted with painted phalanges, my friend Angie, who is here with us today, um, she has a brand and it has this adorable logo, painted phalanges. And she just um, opened her brand last year around October and she has been a polish lover for a really really long time and really knows what she likes in polish and so I was really excited to see what she was going to start making and I think she's released it released it released three or four um like small collections you guys will have seen it on my channel so I think I have a mix here from a bunch of different things so, do I have anything from, or I don't think I have anything from the Halloween collection. Anyway, okay, so, first up we have PJ Party, and this is a deep midnight, like, royal blue purple, like a blurple, and it has all this green shimmer in it, and it's supposed to look like the night sky, and it's so pretty. PJ Party. This came from her Christmas collection which um, all the polishes were named after different Christmas traditions. The Painted Phalanges bottle is a really generous size, by the way. I always feel like with these brands that use really generous sized bottles, like the Clarissa Carol bottle is really generous sized, and the Night Owl Lacquer bottle. This polish is called Pumpkin Pasties, and she did a Harry Potter um, like Winter Feast little trio. And so if you're a Harry Potter fan, these are really, really cute. I feel like this was the one that was pretty much a one coat or two. Anyway, there's lots of sparkle in there. We've got some micro brown glitters in there as well. Okay, also from that collection, I love, 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 love this one. Whoops! Auntie, I'm so sorry! I told you guys I'm not all together today, but I have to admit, I'm a little bit clumsy. It didn't break, don't worry. It sounded like it broke because of my tile floor, but. <laughs> I know, I just had to, I had to keep it exciting for you guys today. Don't worry, it didn't break. Um, remember that time though that I broke a kale polish right here and it just shattered everywhere? Okay, I know, take it easy. I was like getting too excited because it's too pretty. Oh, okay. The the drama of it all. This is a really beautiful kind of like milk chocolatey color. And it's called Cauldron Cakes. And it has all this beautiful, um, we have orange hollow glitter in there. We have brown glitters. We have silver glitters, as you can see. <laughs> you guys almost didn't get this polish. Good thing I know the maker. Okay. Next, also from the Christmas collection, this is the Countdown. And this is a red jelly base, and it has lots of red glitters in there, and I think silver glitters in there. I'll have to look up close. 
the polish. Really, really sparkly. I think there's some hollow in there too. So pretty. And then on this week's thrilling episode, I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is called Let's Go Caroline. And it says beautiful snowy blue and has hollow little um those shreds. No, they're flakies. They're like opalescent flakies. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then we have navy blue glitters in there. Super, super pretty. Oh, what happened? I missed something that happened. Oh, that is sad, Susan. <laughs> okay, so if they haven't ever tried painted flanges yet, this is your chance to give it a try. Head over to her website and check it out, too. So... You're going to, if you're just tuning in right now, you're going to put in a number between 1 and 100 right now. Linda, the last time we moved, we put all of my nail polish in the van, and I personally drove it. <laughs> and I'm really glad we haven't had to move again since then because I have even, even way more nail polish. Get your number in, get your number in. Oh, I haven't counted in a while, Christina. I'm sure it's probably over 5,000. <laughs> I've been trying to do my best at de-stashing, but since there are certain brands that I don't de-stash at all because of comparison's sake, it's just gotten to a ridiculous point. That's why I've told myself I can't be sad about giving away all these beautiful indies on Swatchless and Chill because I just really need to de-stash. Oh, Jess, that's so funny. I know, it's precious, precious. Oh no, you need to go pick up a lung machine. Oh, thanks, Kaylee. I love that one. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble, Linda, which is really fun. But apparently we're going to go eat first. You know what, Kate? 400 is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Thanks, Candice. I try to just spread the love around. <laughs> okay. All right. So... The number is 55, 55. Yeah, Tim stopped being upset at the number of polishes that I had a long time ago. I feel like when your collection is about 200-ish, people that don't know you very well might be like, you have a lot of polish. Yeah. But then when people come to my house now, I'm like, hey, want to see something funny? And I take them into my, my wall of polish where you guys see, see me film again. Oh, did I do 55 last time? Oh, I'm sorry. 37, 37, sorry. Did I even type stop? Thanks for keeping on top of me. I didn't even type stop, you guys. Okay, so it's 37, 37. If anybody tries to make fun of you, Cheryl, send them to my channel and be like, look, I'm not crazy, see? <laughs> That's somebody who's crazy. Oh, that's sweet, Nikki. I feel you, Jess. It's been a long time since I was there, though. <laughs> yep. I used to catalog all my polishes because it's still, it would make me feel really good to like have a catalog of them. I just don't have the time. Grandma Shelly, does everybody have consensus here? Mm -hmm. 
Shelly, remind us where you're from. Nebraska, right. You guys are all so awesome and so happy for everybody when they win. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Well, that is the end of the giveaways today. Six, six brands, if you count the grab bag as a brand. Oh, I was going to show you what I'm doing for Polish Pickup in February. So, it seemed very fortunate for me that February's Polish Pickup was Dynamic Duos on the same month that I was already doing Primetime Lovers. So, basically, I just had to pick two more duos from a primetime TV show. I mean, of course. People are doing different duos. Like somebody's doing salt and pepper, I think. There's a bunch of really cute stuff that has nothing to do with pop culture. <laughs> but for me, that was what my theme already was for the month. So um, I picked Corey and Topanga and, uh, from Boy Meets World. And so I picked this picture of them that is – I would show it to you, but I can't. It's right there on my computer. Um, actually – I could probably bring it up here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a picture where Cor uh, Topanga's wearing red and Corey's wearing yellow. So I decided to make a red and yellow. And one of my favorite ways to do hollow right now is with this really delicate hollow flaky. It's the same flaky that's in the holiday, and I'm, like, obsessed with that polish. And so I've been using it a lot. So anyway, I use that to make the flaky, um, the hollow component in this polish. And then it has um, a red to green Aurora Shift. And it has platinum flakies. I'm loving platinum flakies right now, too. It's, it's making that really brilliant silver sparkle. So this polish is called, you know, dot, 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 that hair in the front row. And that's um, how Corey refers to Topanga one time. And I thought it was really, really cute. So, um, oh, you're welcome. Um, so this is the one that's going to be up on the polish pickup website and then the Cori polish so I'm going to do similar to what Clarissa Carroll is doing and I'm going to have this on um my website and so this is a mustard it has the same com almost the same or similar components at least the Topanga one it has the holographic micro flakies and then it has the platinum flakies and this time it has a gold to green shifty shimmer in it and that's what I'm doing for the Primetime Lovers, too. I, each of the duos, they have a similar formula. So there's a duo of multi-chromes. They're, well, they're multi-creams. And then there's a duo of creams that have this gorgeous gold flaky in it. And then there's a duo that's like hollow craziness. So, um, yes, this is going to be the first duo. And Corey will <laughs> – I feel kind of bad for Corey. He's going to be on my website all by himself. Because Topanga, you will need to get at Polish Pickup if you – want the set of them and that's just how they're doing it this month and this polish it doesn't have a label on it right now it's in my label folders right over there and it's called I'm better because she's that's not coming to my brain right now <laughs> you guys will find out very soon what the name of it is but it's also something that Corey says um yeah I'm not sure about the lighting in here um Jess but that's what it looks like on me. So anyway, um, yeah, that is pretty much it, I think, guys. I haven't read your comments in just a minute, and I, there's a whole bunch of comments. Good, Maria. I'm glad you had fun. Good, good, good. Anyway, you guys, that is pretty much it. I, it's time for me to go feed my little children's mis hijos. Hijos y hijas. Thank you. I hope I do feel better. It's been a solid week, actually. Last week, right after uh, my kids got home, my boys got home on Saturday, right after I finished editing, I was feeling, like, real rough on Saturday. And then I hopped in the bath, and then I pretty much, like, passed out for six, 16 hours, not in the bath, don't worry. 
but I got so sick last Sunday. I wasn't even like hardly lucid. <laughs> so the stuff you've seen on my, on my channel since then was filmed before that. Um, thanks. Thanks you guys. I think I'm, I think I'm on the mend. I'm insisting that I don't need to go to the doctor. So, <laughs> oh, and honor sprained her ankle this week too. That was some more fun stuff. It's the same foot that it's the same leg that she broke. You guys were around when she broke her leg a few years ago. Same one. Of course, I couldn't wait to hang out with you guys today. Thank you, Christina. I know I will. <laughs> and you're welcome. You're welcome. Congrats, you guys, on your wins. Yay! Thanks, Kate. All right, you guys. Well, I will see you back um, again very soon. I have a lot of things I want to upload on my channel for you this week. So we'll see how much I can get done. But I have a lot of beautiful things to share with you. What did you guys see on Polish Pick? They have Instagram now, so you can see all the new collections they're getting. But the new Trina Glaze, it's called The Announcement. Their new OPI is up there. She should be having those for pre-sale. They're either already for pre-sale or she should be having them really soon. But... I'll swatch those both for you very soon. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it dye? I'm sorry. And then Essie has a new collection out. It's called like Steel. I don't know. Oh, wait. Do I have it in front of me? No. Um, but the I was wondering when Orly was going to come out. Steel Magnolias. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cheryl, polishpick.com. So I know that's confusing. There's Polish Pickup where you can get all the indie polishes. If you go to polishpick.com, they sell um, China Glaze and OP, OPI really cheap, um, well, really in, inexpensively. China Glaze is like $3.25 a bottle, and OPI is, I think, $5.25. But if you follow them on Instagram, you can see all the new collections when they release. All right, guys. I'm going to... I'm going to go for now. I'll see you guys hopefully back lots of times this next week. Oh, thanks, Carolina. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. All right, see you later. Bye.